My name's Sekorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a Deodon, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tame Deodons. First off, let's prepare. The foods you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Superior kibble, raw mutton, cooked lamb chop, raw prime meat, cooked prime meat, raw prime fish meat. I would recommend using superior kibble or raw prime meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some raw meat just in case. You'll need around 180 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 16 minutes to an hour and a half. A level 100 can take between 26 minutes and two and a half hours. A level 150 between 36 minutes and three and a half hours. These times are the difference between kibble and raw prime meat. I'll need to note here that while raw prime meat takes about 50% longer to tame than raw meat, raw meat requires almost three times as many pieces of food. What this means is that the taming effectiveness will be much lower with the raw meat alone. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the daydon to consume when it wakes up. The superior kibble requires one large egg, two citronelle, two rare mushrooms, one prime meat jerky, one sap, five fiber, and one water. Condition the area around the Deodon. Kill off any creature that could interfere with your taming. You'll need to keep an eye on the one you want to tame while you do this, and if you have tribe mates to help you, they can be defending the area while you start taming. You want to take care at this point as Deodons usually spawn in groups of 2-4 to four with a high probability of being mate boosted. Additionally, members of the group will be healing each other. The simplest way of dealing with Deodons is to first kill off any members of the group you do not want. You can achieve this by outpacing them with a fairly quick mount and shooting the Deodons in the head with a crossbow. Once you've taken care of that, you can proceed in a couple of ways. The first is to immobilize the one you want to knock out and headshot it with a trank arrows from your crossbow. Once it starts moving again, keep ahead of it with your mount and land shots when you are able. After 20 seconds have passed, hit it with another bola. Rinse and repeat until it's knocked out. At best, a level 150 needs about 20 headshots with the 100% damage crossbow. Alternatively, you can make a trap. Make a 2x2 wooden box with a ramp up one side and a door out the other. A raptor can squeeze through a regular door frame, so if you're using a trap, I'd recommend using a raptor to lure the Deodon in. You'll need to be quick in knocking out the Deodon as they can destroy wood. If you want to make a trap they cannot destroy, it needs to be made of stone. Whichever way you decide to use, knock the Deodon out. If you're in a particularly dangerous area, make sure to protect your tame with walls. Once you're done with that, put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and make sure it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. If this video is helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. You can learn the engram for the Deodon saddle at level 59 and craft it in a smithy with hide, fiber, and metal ingots. Deodons are renowned support creatures with their ability to heal injured creatures at the expense of food. While riding a Deodon, you can toggle the heal pulse on and off using their secondary attack. Otherwise, you can toggle the auto heal through the wheel menu. Also, you can use weapons while well mounted on the Deodon. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.